spiral downward. Evacuate now. Nuclear meltdownward. Evacuate now. This is an immediate emergency broadcast. A meltdown of Blue Castle nuclear power plant's first reactor has been reported due to a lack of coolant material. The heat levels of the reactor have reached excessive levels and reactor fuel is beginning to melt. This meltdown is unstoppable and a nuclear disaster of Ions Level 7 is possible. This level of disaster is likely to occur via an explosion of the plant. With such an event on the horizon, those within a 75-mile radius of the power plant must evacuate now. Evacuation is only possible through Interstate Route 70 East or West and U.S. Route 191 South. State Route 24 is not available for use. This evacuation order is not voluntary. Wind direction shows that fallout will travel northwest, so please evacuate in a separate direction, preferably south or west, as roads are most utilized in such direction. Bring as many people as possible with you so traffic will be as fast as possible. Bring only essentials with you, like clean water, food, clothing, and medical supplies. These supplies should be prepared to last from 14 to 21 days. Only bring service animals with you. Bringing non-service animals and pets will require more resources and could pose a danger to your life. A battery-powered or hand-cranked radio should be brought with you as well, so you can remain updated on this situation. Tune into 102.7 FM or 1160 AM for emergency updates. Meltdown of Blue Castle nuclear power plant's first reactor has been reported due to a lack of coolant material. The heat levels of the reactor have reached excessive levels and reactor fuel is beginning to melt. This meltdown is unstoppable and a nuclear disaster of Ions Level 7 is exceedingly possible. This level of disaster is likely to occur via an explosion of the plant. With such an event on the horizon, those within a 75-mile radius of the power plant must evacuate now. Evacuation is only possible through Interstate Route 70 East or West and U.S. Route 191 South. State Route 24. This evacuation... This is an urgent message connected to the Blue Castle nuclear power plant. The alert systems connected to the counties of Emory, Grand, Carbon, and Wayne have been triggered. This is not a drill. The Blue Castle nuclear power plant has been decimated by a massive explosion caused by a nuclear meltdown of one of its reactors. If you are seeing this message, you are in the radius of the explosion where evacuating is useless. You must take shelter immediately with all necessary supplies that can be safely gathered. If you refuse to take action, you will almost certainly die. There is no way to sugarcoat this situation, you must take action now. Recommended supplies to hold in shelter are non-perishable food, water that is preferably bottled, extra clothing, and medicines. You should also be sheltered in a central room of a secure building where fallout cannot enter. If your building is not protected from fallout, secure it immediately. Close all entry points and block off remaining cracks or openings with tapered damp towels. 
All your preparations should be suitable for 21 days at minimum. This broadcast will cease shortly. We interrupt our programming for a national emergency. Please stand by. This is not a drill. This broadcast has been authorized by the Federal Emergency Management Agency in coordination with the United States Department of Energy. This is in response to a nuclear power plant disaster in Green River, Utah. At 9.02 p.m. Mountain Standard Time or 11.02 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Blue Castle nuclear power plant melted down in an event likely described as INES Level 7. This meltdown caused an explosion releasing countless amounts of nuclear radiation into the air and vaporizing a large portion of the nearby river. The explosion's death toll is unknown. However, the radiation will likely result in many more fatalities. Rocky Mountains or Pacific Northwest are required to shelter in place and protect themselves. If you are in the affected area you should cover all openings or cracks with a form of strong tape or damp towels. Be sure to gather any supplies that will allow you to survive for up to 21 days. This shelter-in-place order is involuntary. If you do not have a shelter, public refuges will be opened in the following areas. The Road Home in Midvale, Utah. Safe Harbor Crisis Center in Layton, Utah. The Lantern House in Ogden, Utah. CAPSA in Logan, Utah. Crossroads Harbor in Rupert, Idaho. The River of Life Centers in Boise, Idaho. All Hospitality Centers in Ontario, Oregon. The Hope House in Spokane, Washington. Keep in mind that these shelters will be very limited in the future. More public shelters will be announced as time passes. Affected state governments will designate primary emergency stations in the coming hours. Emergency alerts will also be sent to televisions and wireless devices as needed. This is an administrative message from the Utah Department of Health. An abnormal particle is thought to have originated from the Blue Castle fallout cloud. However, its true cause is up for interpretation, because after an evaluation conducted yesterday, February 20th, the material was classified as an anomaly, as it should not have been able to survive in radioactive conditions. Unless proof of other origin is found, this classification will remain true. This material has been dubbed Catalyst, or HFM32CTO. Due to lack of analysis, the properties of this material are unknown, but will likely cause danger to humans based on its speculative origin. Stay tuned for further updates.
civil emergency for various counties in northern Utah. The Utah Division of Water Resources has published a summary of water checks across the Wasatch Front and has found that the catalyst particle, or HFM32 CTL, is present in around 52% of all major water bodies in the area, with a density of 39%. This comes to the concern of the Utah Department of Health and Human Services as HFM32 CTL is confirmed to be dangerous for humans to consume or make contact with. For the time being, do not drink unfiltered water. Remain reliant on bottled or self-cleaned water through portable or stationary water filtration devices. There are no known advanced symptoms of infection through the catalyst material, but there are likely forms of such that have gone undiscovered as of now. Stay tuned to media networks such as the Utah State Webnet for further details. Utah has been placed under a state of emergency. The outbreak of HFM 32 CTL has led to a mass deterioration of remaining clean water supplies in the northern portion of the state and will continue to expand into water bodies in the central and southern parts outside of the Wasatch Front. Its abnormal ability to replicate can and will cause a water crisis in the state, making open, formerly clean water to be unsafe to drink. In some cases, it acts as a residue, similar to ordinary radioactive fallout. These cases make it possible to contract the corresponding illness by simply touching contaminated objects. Case counts have revealed symptoms likely linked to the material. The symptoms are heavily reliant on the severity of the case, usually determined by how much contaminated fluid was consumed or contacted. For light cases, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, and fever. Mild cases, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, and fever as early symptoms developing into dehydration, diarrhea, disorientation, and hair loss. Severe cases, quick development of symptoms into hemorrhaging, mental degradation, seizure, and bodily infections that often lead to abscesses, cellulitis, or dysentery. Fatal cases. Developed coma, internal organ failure, and internal hemorrhaging. To quote Governor Hansen, you cannot take chances with the catalyst material. One small step can lead to irreparable damage to your body. Since it has been such a short time since its discovery, no links can be made to invasive or terminal diseases such as cancer. It will likely take large amounts of research to conclude this. The state of Utah is receiving amenities such as clean water and unperishable food from the federal government and other state governments such as Minnesota, Vermont, and South Carolina. Thank you for tuning in to this broadcast and remember to stay informed in this situation.
the events of the Blue Castle nuclear power plant disaster have been catastrophic for water conditions in the western United States. Numerous bodies of water have been contaminated with harmful material which may take centuries to remove. With this now in mind, we will use advanced data to display the water conditions of affected areas and what the future conditions will be. The following bodies of water are permanently contaminated with harmful materials. Permanent in this situation is defined as a change that will last longer than all current human generations will survive. These bodies of water are the Green River, mostly destroyed by thermal radiation, and the remainder is contaminated by fallout. The Uinta, Lake Fork, Duchesne, and White Rivers, varying conditions including fallout, catalyst, and thermal radiation. The Flaming Gorge Reservoir, contaminated with catalyst. Severe Lake, contaminated with catalyst. The Severe, Sand Pitch, and Price Rivers, contaminated with catalyst. Strawberry and Starvation Reservoirs, contaminated with catalyst. Utah Lake, contaminated with catalyst. The Great Salt Lake, contaminated with catalyst. The Weaver River, contaminated with catalyst. The Provo River, contaminated with catalyst. The following bodies of water are temporarily contaminated with harmful materials. Temporary in this situation is defined as a change that will be reversed or stopped before the last current human generation dies out. No further elaboration will be provided as all bodies are only affected by the catalyst material. These bodies of water are The Bear River Bear Lake The San Rafael River The Colorado River The Gunnison River The Little Snake River The Dolores River Lake Walcott, the American Falls Reservoir, the Snake River, Gray's Lake, the Palisades Reservoir, the Blackfoot Reservoir. The status of contamination in these areas will likely lead to a water crisis, particularly in Utah. Since catalyst is a reproductive material, more water bodies will be affected in the future and action will be needed. Thank you for your time. This is a National Information Center statement originating from President Nelson Morton. Stand by. And now, a pre-recorded message from the President of the United States of America. My fellow Americans, it's truly been a dark time for our nation. Having to simply watch as millions of people on our west coast suffer at the hands of a sudden nuclear disaster is absolutely not what we as a country would wish on our greatest enemy, pinning the destruction and suffering on citizens. With that said, the general fallout emergency has faded and it is safe to exit your shelters. However, we are aware that this is not the end of our pain. The newly discovered catalyst material is still wreaking havoc in the West, particularly affecting our brothers in Utah. This material is likely to spread across the continent without any action, so citizens are not permitted to consume any non-filtered form of water. In addition, we cannot allow the material to spread. Catalyst was prominent in the water systems of Maiden, a small town in Utah. Over 60% of Maiden is now dead. We cannot allow such to happen starting now. 
There is no concrete plan of action to combat the spread, but such will be devised in the coming days. There is not much more to be said. May God bless you and God bless America. The emergency action notification from February 18th has been terminated. However, any furthering of the catalyst crisis nationwide will cause a reenactment of the National Emergency Alert System. I wanna f die. Same. Twenty eight to three. Ha. <laughs>